So let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Derby. And this was a weirdly run race, to be sure, in a, in a, in a uh, under weird circumstances. You see down the bottom left the tote delay, and I share all those who were just as frustrated as I am who couldn't place a bet on this race and uh, because we had it cold and uh, we would have cashed in the exact and trifecta. So really disappointed. Um, but, uh, you know, these things just keep happening in our in, in our sport. I don't know what the hell the answer is, but uh, the last thing I expected was to have a tote delay issue. Anyway, uh, this was a weird run race. It reminded me of the 2007 Bluegrass Stakes. Some of you remember back when Keeneland was, uh, had synthetic surface. And they set an, a glacial pace then too, like 51, 116. And I think Dominican ended up winning the race and uh, Street Sense uh, finished second. But it was another one that was really strange. And that was the first thing I thought of when I saw the fractions get that slow. So let's take a look at the race. And you see they're away, away well pretty much. And the good money was a big, bit of a surprise going to the lead. Good money is going to grab the lead. Um, but obviously there was a plan, and he just tamped it right down from there, dropped anchor. And, of course, that left, you know, horses like Ever Do It could stay in the race probably a little longer than they, they ought to be. Uh, you see no more time, good position, and domestic product a little more forwardly placed, and that turned out to be the right move. And obviously being by, trained by Chad Brown, I think they probably had an idea what good money was going to do. Uh, because if he had tried to come from behind like he did in the Holy Bowl, I don't think he could have won the race. But really hard to evaluate these horses when you have a, a funky uh, race shape like this. Uh, certainly Sturdy and Hartened uh, were a little bit uh, compromised being later runners. Hartened stays to the inside from seven. Then comes Gutierrez Vizcaya, who starts to back up a touch. Being joined on the outside by Sturdy. You see no more times in yeah, really good shape right there. Seconds. They've really crawled here in the Tampa Bay Derby. And Grandma the first that get a little the bold there, had enough, and tried to make a race out of it, try to break it open, but uh, no more time's not going to let that happen. Grandmo the first pushed along from third. Domestic product looms just in behind fourth. Domestic product sitting chilly, really good position. I like what I saw from Harden here. He showed a little more acceleration than I thought he had, but being from behind, just have no chance in this race when the pace is that slow. No more time. Pokes the nose in front. Good money tries to counter. Domestic Grand product. Mo the Grand first. Mo the first. Still trying to hang in there. Domestic product. A wild finish here. Some a good Titanic kick late. In Tampa. No more time That's as well. Here they drive the wire. No more time or domestic product. It's between no more time and domestic product. Grand Mo the first. And we know how that came out. <laughs> so it was. Uh, you know, in some, I think it's hard to evaluate uh, the no more time or domestic product. I would frankly think those are the two. Maybe want to take another look at Hartened, um, see where he goes next. But uh, when you have a pace that slow, it's just really hard to evaluate uh, the horses. I think no more time uh, did make a move forward. And I suppose domestic product did as well. But, uh, you know, there's certainly be highly unlikely they get that type of scenario again uh so uh you know now that we've got locked off the derby trail uh, we'll have some updates to the list but i don't know that this is a uh a world rocker as far as a race goes but no more time domestic product i think are uh are horses to consider maybe a little bit of a look at heartened later on because of uh, the late running style